It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to easily save web pages to Google Keep. So, Google Keep is a really cool note-taking app that Timmy's talked about a few times very recently on Tech Time with Timmy, so it's really cool, and if you want to know more about that, you can go back and watch previous episodes about that. But so another cool feature of Google Keep is that you can easily add a web page into Google Keep. So if you're viewing a web page, maybe you're looking at a blog post or something, and you want to come back to that at a different time, you could save it into Google Keep so it'll it'll you can, you can really easily just click a button and it will enter into Google Keep the name of what you're looking at and the URL so you can click there and easily find it. So that's really cool and to, you can do this on your phone and your computer. So if you're doing it on a phone or tablet, you just need to make sure that the Google Keep app is installed on your phone or tablet. It doesn't matter if it's iOS or Android, you can install the app for either and it'll work just the same. But if you want to do it on a computer, you will need to be using the Google Chrome web browser and you will need to install a special extension, which we will show you now. So to do it on your computer, you'll need to install Google Keep Chrome extension. It's just called that. And so you don't have to remember its name. You can click on the link in the video description down below and you'll just come here as long as you're using the Google Chrome web browser. So you can just view this and you can click add to Chrome. So you can click that and you'll have to click add extension and now it'll just add it to Chrome. It takes a little while, but it shouldn't take too long. It'll just be wait a few seconds. And so now the extension has been added to Chrome and you know because it says it up here. So that's really cool. So now whenever you go to a web page, for example this one here, this is just a blog post on techtimewithtimmy.com. And so if you're here and you wanted to save this into your Google Keep, you can just click on this extension up here. All your extensions are up here. You might only have the one you just installed or you might have a whole lot like Timmy does. But so you just find the Google Keep extension, which is right here and just click on that and it will add it. So you can see it's got the name and a link to it like that. And you can add any anything you wanted, like you want to, you might, you might want to say you should read this sometime or something. So you could just enter in any note you want. So you just type in your notes and then you can also add a label if you want. So you can click that and add labels. If you're not sure what labels are, you'll need to go back and watch the, watch a previous episode of Tech Time with Timmy where Timmy explains Google Keep in depth. So that's really cool. And then so once you've done all that, it just says saved in the bottom corner. So that's saved. So that's really cool. So now if you go into, if you go to keep.google.com on your computer to view your notes, or if you open up the app on any of your mobile devices, you'll see this note here. So you'll see it's got the link and it's whatever, got whatever you said and it's got the name so that's really cool and that's all there right now so whenever you wanted to go back to that article you can click on it and open it really easily so that's really cool so if you want to do it on your smartphone or tablet doesn't matter whether it's ios or android you need to make sure the google keep app is installed and then so you can just go to the page you can just be on the page that you wanted to save to google keep and it'll work in any browser. Timmy's using Google Chrome at the moment on an Android phone. But, and it, so it'll work in any browser app, but it might just look a bit different. So you, you have to view the page. And then on Google Chrome on an Android phone, it's tapping the three dots and then come down to share. But if, if it was on a different device, it would just it might be a bit different. So it's however you share a web page. There, there, there'll pretty much be a way in any mobile browser. So you just need to figure out how you do that. You might remember, or you could just look around and find a button that says share or an icon that shows sharing. Or if you're really stuck, you could Google how to share in whatever browser you're using. So how to share in Safari for iOS or something like that, if you wanted to know that. But so for Timmy, it's tapping on the three dots and then tapping share. And then it brings up the normal sharing menu that you would normally get on your phone or tablet. So it, again, it would look a bit different if it was an iOS device. But so you need to just find Keep Notes, the app called Keep Notes in this menu. So in Timmy's case, it's here. You just need to find that and then tap on that. And then it's pretty much done. So it's put in the link and it's got all the title and everything and you can edit it. You can add more stuff if you wanted. So you could 
type in anything else you want to do or you can tap on that and add a label but then you can just tap save and then it says save to Google Keep. So that's really all you have to do, which is really cool and really so easy. So that's really cool and convenient, and it's just really convenient to be able to just save the link and type in whatever else you wanted to do. And so it's just having that link saved there, and whenever you wanted to access it again, you can just go into Google Keep and tap on it. So that's really cool, and that's really all there is to it. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.